welcome to Bite Size Piano. In this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to play just the piano part to Dave Brubeck's Take 5. Apologies for my voice, I have been a little bit under the weather which is why I sound a little bit hoarse. There's basically only two sections to the piano part. It's the main like riff I guess that you heard in the beginning and then it's the da 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 sax part. Um, so we're just going to be doing the piano part um, as closely as I can hear it to be honest, the live version is slightly different from the like recorded version and um, so I've tried to base it off the recorded version. So this is if you want to play along with the track or if you want to sing the solo or if you want to pair up with someone who can play this part such as a saxophonist, a flautist, clarinetist etc. I have done a full arrangement, a piano arrangement of this as well with a melody in the right hand um, so let me know if you would like a tutorial on that um, otherwise I've left where you can access the sheet music for that down below. So this is more closely in the key of E flat minor so on the screen now are all the notes of the scale of E flat minor six flats including the C flat so every time we play this note it's not going to be called a B I'm going to refer to it as a C flat you of course are welcome to refer to it as a B uh, it just wouldn't technically be right um, speaking in this key signature with the chords. I'm going to teach both hands at the same time. So left hand is blue and right hand is orange on the screen there. So here is middle C so as, as a reference. So we're going to go over the intro I guess. So it starts with this type of type of drum beat that I just have on my piano. It's very very similar. So if you aren't already aware, it's called Take 5 because there's five beats in the bar, uh, which is really interesting. So the intro then, we have this E flat, and then the right hand is going to play first inversion of E flat minor, so it's G flat, B flat, and E flat. So we want to go left, right, left, right, and then we're going to play this B flat. Right hand, we're going to play F, A flat, and D flat. So this makes a B flat minor 7 chord. And you repeat that several times for the intro. It's all very separate as well, so it doesn't need the pedal. When the sax part comes in, we're going to add an extra note in the left hand. So as well as playing this B flat, we're going to play that B flat as well. So I think that's more like in the in like the double bass. So we're going to go instead B flat, and then play that low B flat with the right hand. So it does that however many times for that first sax part and then we're into the da 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 This next section, you can call this like the B section if you like. This one is a bit more elaborate. So I'm going to teach this bit of hands together as well. I've done my best with trying to hear this one, the piano, if you listen to it, is quite subtle. We have... So this is where we have a C flat major chord, in other words a B major chord. So we are going to call it C flat. So in the right hand we have G flat, C flat and E flat. And in the left hand we're going to play a C flat. So we're going to play C flat chord and then an E flat and then an F and then we're going to change that G flat to an A flat. So it's like an A flat minor chord. So I'll do that again. So again, it's all really subtle. So there's a little bit of like a piano, not quite a walking bass line, but there's a bit more going on in the left hand. And then the next bit, we're going to play B flat in the left hand. In the right hand, we're going to play A flat, B flat, and D flat. So I'm going to go left, right, D flat, E flat, and the 
then we're going to change this A flat to a G flat. So this gives us like a G flat major chord here. So I'll do that again. So now if I add those two bars on together, we have... And then the next bar, we have A flat in the left hand, and the right hand, we are going to play out the, the first chord again, so effectively the C flat major chord, but together this makes an A flat minor seven. I know we're not playing them at the same time, so I'm gonna play A flat, C flat, D flat, and then we're going to play A flat, C flat, and D flat. So I'll do that again. Now if I join that in from the start of this section, so now we have and then the fourth bar we have a G flat and then in the right hand we have an F, B flat and D flat. Together this makes a G flat major 7 chord. Um, so we're going to go G flat chord, B flat, D flat chord. Um, you can, if you want, add the G flat on top there, or you can change the F to a G flat. So you could go and then just change it to a G flat major chord, or you could play like that. And then we repeat all the first three bars of that again. So after we've played the G flat major seven type bar, back into the C flat, B flat minor seven. So for this one, the A flat minor seven, if you want to add this lower D flat in there, that we're gonna play with that chord, gets us in the right place to play this next part, the last bar of this section. So this last bar we're going to play F and in the right hand we have A flat, B flat and E flat, like an F minor 11, something like that, you could call this chord. So we're going to play F chord, F and then B flat lower B flat and then this D is really subtle and it's D natural. It's more prominent in the, the second time we have this B section. So if I just play this section all the way through now, I'll, I'll go slow. And those are just the two main sections um, to end it obviously it, it's mostly this riff you just go end it on a low E flat so that's the end of this video if you would like to leave a request leave them in the comments section below of this video i've also left some videos here that i think you might like so go and check those out as well i also have a course visit bitesizepianocourse.co.uk and you can enroll and start learning how to read music i'll see you in the next video